When you're a content creator, stop allowing people to dictate your page. Stop it. Ain't nobody can contact me and tell me nothing but nobody else who didn't did me anything. And that's why I told y'all before with some of these people who is not mentally developing their mind, they would take something and run. They're just like having a click in school. You obviously see some of these people like to have a little click. Everything the head do, they end up with a copycat. No, 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 no. Stop being the tail. I'm ahead. I'm not following nobody. See, nobody can't send me nothing about nobody, no other content creator. No, I figure people out for myself. I was raised and taught, if nobody didn't do did you anything, keep your mouth shut and keep it moving. See, what, what may not work for another fool doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. But don't allow another fool to help tip your platform because that's why i say i'm very careful on what i take in from people see you can't come over here and send me something and i supposed to listen the devil is a lie they ain't got nothing to do with me that's what i'm saying right there you better be careful when you taking in things from people who don't know what the hell they're talking about who don't have not even a window to throw piss out of don't even have a vehicle to drive they ain't gonna sit and tell you about another person. Somebody should be telling you how to go about doing your life. That's what you need. You need to really sit on somebody's chair where they can help you to with your finances. Yes, I said it. Help you with your finances so you can get on your feet the proper way. And stop being a bus baby. Well, anyway, I hope y'all having a great day. I went to bed early last night because I was, I was tired, tired, okay? Woke up a little tired, took my shower, brushed my teeth, washed my face, got myself overall together. I didn't use none of the glow serum today, y'all, okay? But anyway, overall got myself together, lotion up my body real good. However your morning go is how your whole day going to flow. Let me say it again. However your morning go is how your whole day going to flow. When you wake up in the morning, somebody piss you off, you better learn to shake it off. You better learn to shake it off. Yes, I did say it. When somebody piss you off in the morning time, see like your whole day can go bad. That, that's it. That's your whole day. Don't allow nobody to do that. When somebody piss you off in the morning, say back right at you. Back right at you. They probably look at you and say, huh? Just say no, back right at you. Okay? Sometimes you got to send them, them spirits back. Sometimes you got to send back that bad energy. Don't allow that to be in your spirit. Mm-mm. Then when you at your job or when you at work, you wonder why you angry, snapping at people, just snapping at people because of what happened that morning and got into your spirit. So we got to be very careful what we take in from other people with email, text messages, phone calls. We got to be very careful what we take in from other people. See, I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. I don't get mad at somebody because you're mad. Because whatever I did or whatever they did to me, that's their destiny. Don't allow them to allow it to come over into your life. No. There's a lot of people I like on this YouTube and there's a lot of people I'm beginning to dislike on YouTube. And, I'm, and let, let me get this clear too. Ain't nobody run the narrative over here. I'm not afraid of nobody. 
ain't nobody running no narrative over here. I'm not afraid of nobody from the left nor the right because I don't give a damn about none, okay? Let me get that straight. And that's why I say I'm on nobody's side. Except kids. These grown, stinky, pissy tail adult. I don't care. I don't give a crap for. I just like the YouTube for entertainment purposes for me. I don't know why you come on here. But I can speak for me. It's for entertainment for me. So let's not get that twisted because I don't believe in click I don't believe in click okay let's get that scraped so we gotta learn to know our place when we dealing with people allow people to be their self you're gonna find some people that gonna like me and some people might don't like you vice versa that's the way of life But we got to stop trying to dictate other content creator pages. And when I say dictate, is that we saying one thing out of, out of our mouth. Out of the same mouth, a minute later, we saying something totally different. Either it's going to be one or the other. And when I see it's not lining up to what's being said, I mind my business. So it ain't no such thing as me, with me. Either you're gonna be on the left or you're gonna be on the right. It ain't no in between. I don't do the click thing, I'm a leader. And if I see something on here I don't like, I call it out if I choose to. But we got to be so careful what come out, of, come out of our mouth. Don't think for a second, ain't nobody on this internet is untouchable because you are touchable. You can be touched. And this is why I'm trying to tell y'all, I don't care what field of, of, of career you in, you can be touched. Don't y'all know I'm going to say, I'm going to use YouTube for an example, right? Anything that's being posted on YouTube is not private. Anything being posted on Google with Google on YouTube, let's get this straight. Anytime where anything being placed upon the internet is not private. Anything can be used only for a couple seconds at a time, but you gotta know what you're doing. So when you got people saying that, I'm gonna do this and do that, everybody on this internet can be touched. That's all I'm gonna say. I had somebody that um, <clears throat> scrapped my page. Okay, I know who did it. Scrape my page. <clears throat> I put a video up. And um, this lady decided to scrape my page. I'm going to say it like this, y'all. And the video was an old video. It was made a long time ago. And how I ended up getting the video, it wasn't from nothing I got on YouTube. It was something somebody sent me on Facebook, okay? This person decided to scrape my page. When I found out who it was, I wasn't upset about it. I said, you know, I could have been mean about it. I got her whole page swiped away. But I said, you know what? I'm not going to do that. No. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm not going to do that. See, it's better ways when you do things to sit back and just shut your mouth. But I know what you've done. I know what you've done. Let me, y'all, I remember years ago, I was at my hair salon and I could remember the first time when Staple come and they expect my salon for me. 
I passed it and he said, oh my God, it's so beautiful. This is the best line I ever seen in a long time. Make the long story short, y'all. I've been in my salon probably two years in. Stayed for King. And it's good to have family in all walks of life. It's a good thing, y'all. But anyway, stay bold came. They didn't came in that day. They just peeked their head in the door. And the man told me, he said, such and such and such from up the road called me to come to you. And when they get a call, they got to come out. And sometimes they want to come out because they want to leave that office or whatnot. So the man told me who called, you know, and I supposed to be, he told me, I said, oh yeah. So he asked me, he said, what do you want me to do back? No, don't do anything back. No, 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 no. I'ma let her dig her own ditch and she gonna pit herself in it. Cause I don't believe in hurting people. I don't believe in doing bad things to people. None of that stuff. But when you got favor and you know not to attack people once they did bad to you, oh, it's coming back. So I told him, no, 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 no. So he asked me, is anybody in the area who doing here at their home? I have the case and they go, no, I don't. I stayed to myself, I don't know nobody. And that was me all the time, y'all. If I interact, which I only interact with state board three times in my life. And that one incident when a young lady called and another incident when I had a phone call when I first opened up my business. It was getting my business, business together, however the case may go. And the first time is when they expect the place. Well, anyway, I said no, even though I was a licensed hairstylist, I know a bunch of people who did hair. But you gotta sit and think to yourself. Everybody start from somewhere. I started at my house. How do I look telling on another person because this young lady trying to get herself going to make money for her family who is not out there killing people who trying to do the right thing? I would never, ever, ever, ever tell on anybody else who doing here at their home. No, no, no. That's wrong. If you know you start at your home and you got your license, you on your feet right now, stop snitching on other people who doing here at their house. That is dead wrong. A breeder's license is not a cosmetology license. Okay? Y'all need to know your rules and regulations dealing with state board. And that's why I say I know people in all walks of life. Me and my family. A breeder license. It's somebody who have a license who is going to braid natural hair. If step board walk in a place today and you got some of them probably won't say anything because of favor. But if they really come in a building and you, you set up shop and you um, doing relaxers and you actually putting extensions, braid extensions in somebody's hair off your braid license, and your license is going to get took or you're going to get fined. So don't believe the hype, y'all. Cosmetology license is for everything. Barbering, manicure, pedicure, massages, it's for everything. But when you went to school just to be a barber, some barbers are allowed to do relaxes. Some barbers don't have to go to continuing education because they got a barber license. But it's a must if you have a cosmetology license, the course is every two years you gotta sit in class. So we need to stop and understand these laws before we actually get into something deep. Understand how the law work on it. Cause a lot of these young ladies don't know our breeding license is not for you to add extensions. You really think they're gonna allow somebody with a breeding license just to do regular hair braid, not to add the extensions, to get over that easily when you got somebody who went to cosmetology school, who have took up trade for everything. See, with cosmetology, you could leave one career and go to the next. You could be like, you know what? I want to do barbering. I don't even want to fix hair no more. 
Oh, I want to be a, a massage therapist. Oh, I want to be a tech, nail tech, whatever how the kids may go. You can actually be one career and go to the next. Or you can open up a salon and have everything all in one in that one salon because you was licensed to do so. So y'all young ladies who want cosmetology license, if you got any family member who want cosmetology license, get it now because it's going to get harder. You better get in where you fit in right now. But anyway, the young lady called State Board on me. State Board told me who she are. He asked me, do I know anybody who doing hair at their house? No, sir, I don't. He know I was coming from. Even if I did, I wouldn't even tell him because I'm not trying to hurt nobody who's trying to come up. Okay? That's not in my blood. I didn't want anything to happen back to her, but I did told him she gonna put her own foot in her mouth, which I know she wasn't all that great, but that's not my problem to tell him that. I'm gonna let her hurt herself. Because the Bible said we could be our own worst enemy. And that's how I know she's gonna rectify herself. I don't have to do anything to her. And that's what she did. Y'all, after that lady do that thing, she she wasn't even open, not even six months after that. I'm saying this to say this. When you're on this internet and you got people supporting you, you don't have to go to the depths. People apologizing because they want something. You're afraid that you're going to lose subscribers. You're afraid somebody's going to lose you. You're afraid for other people not to be recognized because you're selfish. Your own selfish game going to cause people to leave you. That's why I give the story of the hair salon. Because anytime with somebody attacking you for no apparent reason. Because when people say things out of their mouth. They got reasons why they're saying it. They don't just say it just to say it. And even if somebody did say something to about you or anybody else, did you know what was said for you to open your mouth? No, you don't know what was said. You just going by a, 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 a freaking apology. You're a nutcase. So I'm saying this to say this, y'all. Be mindful how you do things. Be mindful what you say. Because the same ditch you think you digging for somebody else, it's going to be the same ditch you fall in. That's why, even if I say little things about people, which things that come out of my mind, it ain't so bad. Even if it's not bad, I still apologize. I always clear myself on, on, on along the way because that's the way you're supposed to do it in the Bible. A lot of people don't know that. You're not supposed to be going on every day doing things and not apologizing. Even if it wasn't that bad, what you've done, you still apologize. So we need to stop that. Getting afraid that we're going to lose subscribers, so we want to talk down on somebody else. You want to cause yourself to fall in that ditch. Watch what I tell you. And all of y'all, these content creators on YouTube, when y'all sit there and y'all just take what somebody say, I'm not going to allow him or her in because of X, Y, Z, or what somebody else said. You only dig in your ditch for somebody else, for you to fall in, not somebody else, but you won't fall in that ditch. It is a reaction of everything we do. Why talk about what somebody else doing if you becoming to be what you talking about? You doing the same exact thing. Some of y'all blocking people because they voicing their opinion. Because you're getting a little bit of money now. So as you remember, whatever you pay in the energy, in the air, in the energy, whatever you put up there, it's going to come back. It's going to shower back down on you, only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. When you got good people on your team, Stop talking all that ish. Stop talking all that BS and all that what somebody else tell you. Let them talk about that on their channel. Keep your channel clean. You don't think they want to contaminate your channel? After everybody looking at another person, you don't think they're trying to contaminate your channel? Sis, you got to be smarter than that. You got to be way smarter than that. Because I guarantee you, it's other people sitting back thinking the same thing I'm thinking right now and they're shaking their head. 
here come another one. And you don't want to be placed in that category. You don't want to be placed in that category. So we got to be mindful of the stuff we do. And if I support you, and if I choose to send you a cash app, it's because I choose to send you a cash app. That's what my choice, okay? If I choose to. So don't let nobody mess it up. Mess it up for you just because they can't get it. Only fools do that. Only fools cut the hand off that feed them. Only a fool do that. Like, seriously. I'm dropping some wisdom to you right now. Only a fool will do that. Sometimes you got to sit back and keep your mouth shut. Do your commentary. Whatever you got to do on your channel. Keep it moving. You see and you don't see. I tell people all the time. They ain't got nothing to do with me. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Because I have to learn to grow to know my place. Dealing with others and dealing with people. So y'all, we got to be very excited. But anyway, I love each and every one of y'all. I support some of everybody, okay? For the last time, I'm not locked in with nobody, okay? A lot of people that I have followed, and I'm going to say had followed, because a lot of people I don't watch on YouTube like that no more. But a lot of people I had followed, and I like them because, um, at that time, because they are knowledge people. When you're a content creator, when you acknowledge people, people take hold of that, okay? But when you start overlooking people and think you're too big-headed that you can't answer to people, it could be anything. You're not acknowledging people. You're just rambling so much, not paying attention to your comments. It could be simple things that people can be turned off from. And I understand sometimes when you got a big follower, it's hard to... Um, comment on everything, but but most time when people are amped up, they just say when you got people and you doing a live, it's best to slow down, read your comment. Some of y'all be saying, I don't know, because you're mad at that time. That's why I said you can't allow this thing to get get too wrapped up in your life. No, this is for entertainment purposes. And yes, it is for entity. Anytime you come on another, um, okay, YouTube was designed for other creators to make a page. Anytime when you signed up for this, it's really for entertainment, right? But some people take this stuff to heart and they bring it over in their house or their home, whatever they want to call it, or their lifestyle, their relationship, marriage, and how the case may go. So you got to learn to acknowledge your people. If somebody didn't call you while did no harm to you and they choose to go on somebody's page and didn't say anything or called your name it shouldn't be a problem because we're going to have enemies no matter where we go and that's facts hell you working around people now who don't care about you so you're going to have enemy each and every way you go some people trying to clean up this YouTube and never be cleaned up. Like I said before, because there's always new creators coming on this channel. You want to find some people who like you and some people who don't. And the people who like you, roll with them. Roll with them. Because ain't nobody going to tell me where to go. And I ain't going nowhere until you call my name to go. I don't like people who speak in cold. Speak, speak how you feel. I told I called this company the other day because I like to eat the spite and I'm gonna show you I meant to show you how to bag before but it's the spite spicy hot and spicy chicken cracklings because we don't eat pork. And um I noticed that it doesn't taste the same. The seasoning is just a little bit hot and the crackling is a little too hard. When they first made it, it was just right. It's called Wallace Chicken Crackling, y'all. It's spicy, it's good. They got the original and it got the spicy. The original, it don't have no type of spice, but the hot and spicy is, is hot and spicy, okay? It's real good. And um, I call the company, but let me scratch that and go back. But anyway, that's an audit by the box. That's an audit by the box, right? And um, 
the man who used to come and deliver it to me, he used to ask me what did I like about it. And I said, oh my gosh, I love it. You know, you can use the hot and spicy chicken. You can actually add the stuff in your food if you know what you're doing. Um, I told him I overall like it because I don't really eat meat like that. But I like the chicken um, crackling to replace my meat. Um, he asked me what else did I like about it. Hold on. Ooh, uh, I told him uh, the texture is perfect. It's not not too hard at all. Don't y'all know this man? He must be been the one who was actually making it. Because after I talked to Liz, she told me the company is making her chicken crackling and they bagging it for her, right? I said, well, I'm calling to give you my review on it. And I said, I noticed that your product wasn't selling like that. And I noticed that is in a lot of stores because you sell out, y'all. When I said people order by the bulk, they had back orders. And I said, the reason why your product not ordering like that, because the texture had changed. Once you do something, keep it the way it is because that's how the people like it. I said, I said, did you notice that your inventory is not selling out? She said, yes. I said, because he done found out because he even asked me, what do I like in it? I said, this is a competition out here. Everywhere you go is a competition. This man got his own crackling business, but he do the pork. You don't think he is upset why his product not selling and yours selling? She said, I did thought about that one. I see it's a competition. That's why your stuff's still up in the store. He changed the texture and he, he even made it even hotter. So imagine all the older people who like your chips. They can't even eat it like that no more because of the texture, because it's too hot, hot. That's why he asked the wrong what people like about it, because he was figuring out why your product selling and his won't, won't selling like that. I say, anytime you allow somebody to help you with your business and they got their own business too, and that's why, hold up, stop. That's why it's always good to make people sign contract, conflict of interest. You got a product and you're trying to sell my product or trying to sell their product conflict of interest it can cause problem don't allow nobody to do you like that so please like share subscribe to the channel if you can i love y'all and thanks for tuning in Like this, uh, like this, uh, angelotto. They know what time it is when they hit it, uh, angelotto.